Crime alert in DeKalb County, a family dodging bullets in their own home. A woman says a bullet just missed hitting her son in the head. CBS 46's Tracy Bragg is live in DeKalb County with more on the story. Tracy. I've, I spoke to DeKalb County Police. They tell me that so far this year, the county has seen 67 homicides. Last year this time, that number was 43. One mother here in DeKalb County, DeKalb County tells me that rise in violence has literally pierced the walls of her home. It said pop, and I knew something hit my house. Naila Morris tells me that something was a bullet. Just after 12.30 a.m. Wednesday, that bullet entered her son's room from the street behind her home, flew over her son's head as he studied aviation. And then it goes into his twin sister's room and comes through this side of her wall. Flew over her bed, then lodged itself in the wall where it remains. And his safe place was disturbed, and that's troubling to me. Luckily, no one was hurt. Two hours later, DeKalb PD showed up to investigate. Morris says her family is still trying to come to grips with what happened. We had nothing to do with it. It came looking for us. Shell casings were found on Panthersville Road, the street behind the family's home. But so far, no arrests have been made. She's now calling for DeKalb County law enforcement and officials to do whatever it takes to put an end to the violence. Make sure that we have all the tools necessary to live a safe, happy, peaceful life. We should not be afraid in our safe place. Morris tells me she and her family headed to the DeKalb County Police Department and asked for an increase in patrols in this area following that incident. She tells me those requests were denied. I have now reached out to the department and am, and am waiting to learn exactly what safety measures are going to be put in place to make sure this family and this community stay safe. Back to you, Sean. Trayson, does the family have any enemies or perhaps someone who could be responsible for the shooting? Any tips or clues on that? You know, I actually asked Morris that and she tells me, an em or she answered with an emphatic no. She tells me both of her kids are honor students. One is, tra or uh, one is a student pilot who is working to become a commercial pilot. The other is months away from heading to medical school. She says the family has no negative ties and this was a completely random act of violence. Back to you. I hope they get a break in this case. Tracy, thank you. We'll see you tonight on CBS 46 News at 11.